Hello, in this video I'm going to show you some Nixie clocks and other clocks I have built. So this is my very first Nixie clock with Soviet IN12B Nixies, Soviet INS1 neon lamps, Soviet K155 ID1 drivers and Atmega 8 microcontroller. And it works perfectly now for about two years. It has a cathode rotation, it has time, it shows also date and time with seconds. Here you can set alarm and you can set the clock, hours, minutes, seconds, year, date. This is the automatic daylight saving time and that's it. And it also has a software calibration of running speed and leap years. And this is the alarm. And this is the clock from the inside. Here you can see the Nixie tubes in sockets and the neon lamps. And from the other side, there's a lot of wires. There are anode resistors in it, cables, the main board, and the backup batteries, the buttons, the fuse holder. And here you can see the microcontroller and Nixie drivers. There's the power transformer with 7805 regulator. And that's basically it. And this is the second of my Nixie clocks and my biggest one. It has 4 times Z566M and 2 times Z5660M tubes. By and large they are the same tubes but the seconds have no red paint on it. And the functionality is almost the same as the first clock. But I have added 7 green neon tubes to indicate the day of the week. Just like the first clock it can display time, date and this clock is running now for about almost 10,000 hours. Still without any problem. And it also has an alarm, leap years, automatic daylight saving time and software calibration of running speed. And this is my Nixie clock number 3. This one is without microcontroller. But I like this one because the Nixies and microcontrollers just somewhat don't come together. And having no microcontroller it just shows time and nothing else. It has two buttons to set it. And now it's quite dusty because it's running continuously for more than one year without any problem. Here you can see the tubes in it. And this is my Nixie clock number 4. This one is not yet finished, it has to have a cover and buttons added. And this one is interesting especially because it's completely made of original parts, there are no modern parts. All the parts in it were available in the 70s. Here you can see the Nixies and a vintage LED. There are anode resistors. Here you can see TTL logic of the clock. All circuits are original from about 70s. And this is the power supply with Old 7805 from Tesla and this is the vintage transformer. Everything is original. Original transformer, original regulator, capacitors, diodes, original TTL circuits, some gates, decade counters, Nixie drivers, transistors resistors and the Nixies with sockets. And this one is not a clock, it's a Nixie thermometer. It measures indoor and outdoor temperature. 
It cycles through both temperatures. This is outside and this one is inside. And it has a button to record the minimum and maximum values. So minimum, maximum outside and minimum and maximum inside. It has two numeric Nixies in it and one special symbol Nixie. And this one is not a Nixie clock, it's a vacuum fluorescent display clock. But it's also a nice piece. And it has a DCF77 receiver, so it's always accurate. And here you can see the tubes in it. And of course it also has a date, alarm and a lot of other functions. And finally this is my Neumetron clock. Neumetrons basically are seven segment displays with incandescent filaments as segments. And I have a lot of other clocks. This is a clock in a floppy disk box. This is my LCD clock and my cat that really likes it. And this is another DCF77 clock. So those are some of the clocks I have made myself during my life and I hope you like them. I have actually made even more clocks but they are now in a different place. This is Darwin Wild and see you in my next videos.